Hello everybody, I am the Insider and welcome to my channel. Today we start off with a new series of videos for Planet Zoo, which we are going to call A Day at the Zoo. With the recent situations in the world, of course, we cannot go to all the places we love to go. Especially in the Netherlands, where I'm from, we have to wait until we're able to get back to the, uh, the zoos in the country. And I had this idea already for a long time, and finally I thought now we had, it's the time to get a start off and visit some shoes by different people. Just check it out and see what crazy and beautiful things they can make. And we are doing this in the point of the view of the guests. As you can see, I'm already with the use of the Tejit Cam cheat code we are now as a guest so we're not flying over the park maybe for some pretty atmospheric shots throughout the, the video but we're going to do this as a guest so this is the first episode and uh, we are here at Woodland Zoo a beautiful park as so far I know because I haven't seen much the only thing I did was fixing some stuff before I started uh, to record this but we're here in the Woodland so sh uh, Zoo I'm sorry, Zoo and uh, this is made by Nimi-chan and Nimi-chan is her name on Discord definitely go check out her park if you want to see it for yourself and Nimi is also part of the communities on Discord and uh, so this is the first zoo guys I'm going to have a look around I'm very looking forward to uh, do this series so let's start and um, as you can see it's a little bit laggy this is not because of the the park all the guests have been moved we are having a private tour so everyone is being moved away uh, but as soon as I start recording it seems to be a little bit more laggy but uh, yeah beautiful entrance area feels very welcoming if you come here you just know it's a beautiful zoo so um, we have a generator over here specific spot um, we can get our cash over here this is this is nice that's a nice idea we have something on the other side as well oh, it's the same I love the idea of having uh, some tropical garden in the glass so yeah let's get inside we already paid for the uh, tickets over there this is the standard zoo entrance I've used it myself for uh, Soka Zoo but changed it a bit I like this this is great cool so I have no clue where we wa are going to walk uh, we can't going to try and just follow pop and uh, I hope it's not going to be that long I mean I don't mind making a longer video for this but oh this is also very cool with the fence inside of here very zoo like okay so I heard the monkeys over here let's go check with the monkeys first it's gonna be a running up to it so we have the capacin monkeys so something is escaping. So this is the island of Captain Monkeys, I think. Can I just see some of them? We could hear them. But they must be here. Maybe in the trees or something. I have no clue. So, um, we're going to do the left side first, because I, I'm a lefty, and it's easier to uh, decide which way we're going. <laughs> I think the monkeys are always very loud, the capuchin monkeys. Okay, so, we have a pizza pan over here, awesome. Okay, we're gonna check out the corner over here. 
So this is, I saw the red panda sign over there. Oh, we have the toilets. This, this is Dutch, of course. They say, which is typical Dutch for toilets. Not sure if it's in English as well, but. So we have a science area and veterinarian a workshop. Very awesome to see this. Beautiful place in the corner of the park. So let's start with the capsule monkeys. Like like here. We have llamas, the pandas and capsule monkeys. Okay, so the capsule monkeys over here. Let's check up here. Uh, oh, here we go. Didn't really move because of three maybe. So they're hard to see I think because of the three, but I think they're in the tree. A nice large location for them. There they are. Let's just move a little bit closer. We like kids you're know, running up to the animals. Here they are. Hello. So they have some toys and a uh, place to climb and sh have a shelter up. Awesome. So this is like the larger version of uh, Capstan Island what we have in Sokusu. Awesome. Sometimes getting stuck, but not sure what is keeping me from walking. So this is also part of the capsule. Got a lot of capsule monkey uh, space over here. Awesome. It's always good to have enough space for animals. We're going to the left side. We're gonna go and check on the building over there. Let's step up a pace. Um, this also looks great. Let's just quickly check this. This is beautiful. I have this natural cave system or something. What do you call these things? Oh, I love this. Beautiful. So this is a bit high. I don't think we are able to... Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, it's not much to see. So this is kind of like the capsule area as well. Okay, so we can watch them over here as well. That's cool. It's like a huge area. All right, we're going uh, a little bit back. Let's just run back. We're very athletic, very fast. I mean, it's not tiring me out. <clears throat> oh, here we have. Uh, so we can't really go there because we're guests. But it seems that we have a keeper hut over here, a veterinarian. This is like behind the scenes. We're not going to visit that because we're obviously we're guests in the park. So this is a different kind of showcase than normally when we showcase a park. We're only going to do this as a guest. I like the atmosphere here. Oh! Here we go. The monkey house. These windows are great. I love them. It's kind of a shame that most of the windows in the game are like a little bit too dark when you want to look through it. It's not that big of a problem, but sometimes it gets a bit too dark when it's inside of the building. A lot of, a lot of monkeys live in living, lying there. Look, there they are. That's where they all at. I love the setting. And it's it's in a tempered park. It's a woodland team. Kind of like I'm doing with Sokusu. Oh, okay. We're going to... Uh, Check this out first. A lot of information signs. <laughs> Bison. 
I haven't seen the bison in game yet. I can I can not bend the knees. I'm not bending the knee for no queen nor king. Bison's over there. That's cool. And here another one. Oh, here they are. Easy to see. Awesome. Okay, we're gonna go left over here. I mean, go a little bit back. Mm -hmm. The cap seems well. Nice with the text over there. Oh, this is also a nice idea. Awesome! I'm keeping that in mind. So we have red pandas over here. I love red pandas. Hmm. A lot of information. We have a high alert somewhere. <laughs> I'll just ignore it for a second. It's a cute little place. It's enough for them to uh, walk in. I mean, they never really want to have a lot of space in the, in the wilds as well. Well, they don't need a lot of space, but they also live in small groups. Or duos. Or are alone. I like the building. It's nice. Oh, this is cool. Window like this. Come. Oh, there's one. It's hard to see with the windows, but. Can we just. Ah. Let's pretend we are not going through the building. Oh. Oh, look. So I tried this myself with the panda habitat it didn't work out to me at least so I think the capsule monkeys are bugged because I hear them escape here as well but they're not really escaping this is one of the problems I have as well in the park okay so we're back this is uh okay let's go yeah let's run back to the bison yeah, we're ignoring everything else. We are not managing a park over here. We're going to just enjoy our day. And a bison. There we are. They have a large area. Beautiful. Oh, this one coming over here. I haven't seen them in game yet. A lot of the animals I haven't tried out or seen. So this is like really going to a zoo and. and Watch the the animals I haven't seen uh mm. she's happy. So bisons have a large area. I see some houses over there, I wanna check that out. Uh, I have to scratch a little bit. Here we go. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's one of the first parks. See uh, Nimi had another park. Which is some safari, right? But I tried that one out, it didn't really work out. So I skipped that park, and I think this is maybe her best park of the two. I mean, this one is beautiful. It was up the, up, uploaded later on, so I think it's the second park. It's not bad. A lot of education going. Always important to educate the children. I love this. is so cool. I really have the feeling that I'm walking in a park. Just sometimes you forget how beautiful this game can be to model parks and just environments. Oh, we have polar bears, Himalayan bears, and timber wolves. Let's check that out. All right. Check here for a well. while. This is. I think it's going in a circle. Toilets over here. And oh, I can use some things. Oh no, I already had my coffee. So if we see see a refreshment uh, area, we're gonna grab a, a a bottle of drinks. Let's 
kind of weird that it's it's like the height for children mainly. I'm also a long, a large. Uh, oh my, my length is very long. Maybe that's the reason why I'm not able to watch under it. <laughs> I love the, the rocks and the mountains, it really gives off a vibe. Okay, so I can hear the bisons, they are a little bit in the middle. Can we just... Ah. Ah. You're not allowed to climb on the fences, kids, but I'm doing it. It's a nice place. It really looks like the United States, like, uh, if it, is it Colorado? Is it similar than this? I'm not sure, but, oh, I'm stuck now. Am I stuck? Oh no. Oh no. I'm stuck. Guys, I'm stuck. I have to just try and, yes, here we go, okay. Ah, oh, crisis handled. <laughs> oh, this is going up. Okay, we're going up. Let's see. We had the wolves and the bears coming up next. This is... I'm glad this is in-game because I don't like stairs or climbing stairs. I'm not that sp sporty. I'm like that guy. A little bit more fat, but... <laughs> so, this is the bison area there, and this is going to be... Oh, this is the behind-the-scene area for the employees so something is here gonna check it out later oh look at that cute building with the rocks I mean really did a great job with these things she, al she also keeps the uh, employees having uh, happy with the areas So I bet you cannot climb on here. I don't think we should do that. Otherwise we get stuck again. Okay, so... I'm not sure if this is an area or just... In between, like filler area. Oh, we have drinks over here. Um, here we go. I'll take a bit short water. Yeah, okay, guys, give me a second. I need to. What am I throat? <sighs> when you're talking, you have to do that. And as well, if you're visiting in a park and you, have, you are on a day out, you really have to hydrate yourself. Ah, refreshing. Always have a bottle of water with you. <sighs> so. I guess this is like, oh here we go, the higher area for the animals over here. So this is indeed behind the scenes as well. Filled up with bigger trees and we have a power station or a water, water supply station. So these are the Himalayan brown bear. I only have seen the grizzly bear so far. really looks natural oh. I thought something walked over here but you might see it later do not feed the animals really do not feed any animals in parks only when it's a uh, big note fight you can do that so this is behind the scenes as well, we're gonna ignore that. We have the bears again. I hear something. Is it maybe climbing a tree? I'm not sure. Sometimes I get stuck on an invisible wall or something. Oh, I love this. It really goes down, that's so cool. So they have a little spot able to walk under it. So we never know what is uh, behind the scenes. 
So if you want to see that, if you really want to see every aspect of the park, you should definitely check out uh, Nimi her YouTube channel. And she also showcases uh, park tours. Okay, we didn't really see the bear. I think they're down there. We're not going to do that. We're not going to jump in. I mean, I want to live, okay? Polar bears! Also, haven't seen any polar bears in game yet. Why is that insider? Well, uh, mainly because I haven't done much in the game besides building certain parts. <laughs> um, polar bears, polar bears, polar bears, polar bears. I don't know what she. It still gives the vibe that a lot of people are walking around here <laughs> with all the education signs and speakers. Oh, bear? Bear? I have to say they have a lot of space, so that's very cool. So this is has to be here, bear. Okay, we're gonna run over it. We're gonna run over to the bear. Oh wait, this is. Oh, there's there's a polar bear. Polar bear, polar bear, polar bear, polar bear, polar bear. Oh, it has babies. Oh, hello. Oh, it's so small. It's so cute. The two of them. No. Oh. This is such an enormous space. Definitely, they are not getting in trouble over here with the park. Oh, look at them. This is beautiful. So this is kind of how the people want to see uh, the zoos and parks these days. They need a lot of space. A lot of people just want to see animals in the wild. I, I mean, I want to see animals preferably in the wild but it's not always the case sometimes we have to preserve the animals especially those endangered there's a lot of space over here we're gonna we're gonna quickly pass by this is kind of weird I mean if a polar bear is standing up straight he must be able to climb over it <laughs> uh, we just uh, we haven't seen anything there, so this is a pathway also for the uh, the working area. Excuse me. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. Next animal, guys. We're going to the next animal. What's this? Oh. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, this is kind of. I already saw this up here because I tried to fix some animals from escaping. I'll explain that later on with the next animal. I know what animal is behind here. But these are the, uh, what do you call those again? The sheep? I'm very bad at names, by the way. What kind of sheep was it again? Let me just, just check it for a second. Uh, bell sheep. Okay, bell sheep. We didn't have any alerts, right? Bell sheep. This is a beautiful. Please. I wonder if they really are climbing. Oh, look, it's a, it's a lamb. I'm too big for all these things. <laughs> look at them. I never, never seen these in the wild or in parks. I can't remember if I've seen them in parks. There are similar animals, but. It's just an, a nice rock one. Sometimes the game has to uh, calibrate the lights and shadows for your eyes for your eyes a little bit. So this is a nice place. Look at it. You can. I think they can climb over here. Over here, there's a wall. Not sure what this is, but I think it's just too far away to fully spot in. Up here we have more. Oh, look at the babies. 
Hey, the shoe, la la bop, itty pop a day, up a day. I can speak a little uh, gibberish as well. So, suddenly there was an elephant. <laughs> I'm gonna check that out. Okay, so oh, I. It's crazy how the game is so different when you're walking in point of view. Okay, I'm not sure if we miss anything, but we're gonna check that. We have seen the polar bear, the tail sheep. We haven't seen the Himalayan bear, but... So we have the African elephant and the West African lion. Oh. Huh. Oh. So, let's go, let's go left again. I mean, I'm left, you keep us left. So... These are all the shops, I guess. Oh yeah, here we are. Toilets, shops, food and drinks. Not sure how to get there, I think it's over there, but we're gonna check it out. I love the water element over here. It feels like being in Africa all of a sudden. Nice. So, this is the place I already saw. And uh, I'm sorry, Nimi, but I have taken away all the cubs, the lion cubs, because they were escaping like crazy. They were able to escape over the water and then into the mountains. <laughs> I mean, they can't swim, but... So what is that? I can't see what this is. I have no clue what it is. I really have no clue. So, African Lion. Also a large area. So the mountains, they are able to climb in. I'm not sure if this is intentional or... Uh, just something there. I mean, oh, look at that. It's swimming a lot. That's a lot of lions over there. like a giant pride of lions over here. I love the jeep in the back. You know, see over there is a jeep. So it's separated by water to make sure their guests are safe enough. But I want to see them up close. Beautiful with the trees and the lions. You can hear the elephants a lot by the way. I can just quickly move a little bit. There is so much space. I wonder with map uh, what map this is. There's a lot of space in here. Oh, it just points a little bit there. I have no clue what I'm saying. It just I did the gibberish part. I think uh, <laughs> that's kind of like when I'm thinking in Dutch and also thinking in English at the same time. It's, I, I'm like a muppet. I'm like a muppet. Oh, look at that. It's, it's, there's a tent over there. That's funny. Awesome. So that's the lion area. It's gonna continue. I love there is a lot of space in between as well. You can see them over here. The, the lioness. Okay, so this is the elephant area. It's also a large area, I think. It has to be. It has to be. Oh, you little yumbo! Oh, do it again! That was funny. Do it! Do it for the fuse! Do it for the fuse! <laughs> oh, I love the baby animals in here. Look at this place. Beautiful. I haven't seen elephants as well. Let's quickly go here. Hi! Hello! This is how I talk when I'm near animals, by the way. Even in game, I'm doing the same thing. <laughs> Can you blame me? My cat is just visiting me out of the 
she's coming out of the uh, sleeping uh, room and then she just joins here and just checks me out I also starts talking like that nice so this is the place where we can get our food let's quickly I love the this is so good this is what you really would see in a park like this Oh wow, is this really an item? Yeah, it does like an item. I never saw that one. I mean, there are a lot of items I scrolled by and uh, that's it, you know? Never really looked into it. So we, this is kind of like the pub we were following and we return over here, so that's cool. It has some kind of root. We have seen the elephants, the lions. We're going to do the jaguar and the safari. I have no clue. Can we enter safari rides, by the way? Is that a possibility to do? We can go up here. Oh, yeah, we're going to go up there. Yeah, we're going to go up there. Okay, let's do that. Oh, I love the... I'm a huge fan of the environment creations, really. I mean, this is something I I love doing myself, is making these natural habitats and areas, filling in with it. What is... Oh, never mind, that's the custom one. <laughs> I was kind of like, oh, that's a, that's an... Uh, I mean, this is not... I thought it was a custom one. Oh, God. Inside, please. You know how to talk, right? Okay, so I thought it was a custom one, but it's just one of the uh, basic items in the game. <laughs> I'm doing this all without script, you guys. And I'm not going to cut the video. I'm trying not to. Oh, look, at I love African elephants. Oh, they have two babies. Oh, three babies. Holy! So beautiful. Really love this. I'm very looking forward to another park of Nimi. Uh, Nimi made uh, well. Nimi and other people made a contest park for uh, Mr. Ravenscar. Mr. Ravenscar, you all know. If you haven't followed him on YouTube, by the way, just just look it up. He's an amazing content creator as well. And uh, I already said you have to follow Nimi as well, so look her up as well. As well as the word of the night, I think. As well. Oh, that looks gorgeous. Look at that view. That's just beautiful. I think there are animals over here. At least in habitat. This is just beautiful. So yeah, um, in, in the community, uh, we have the Discord community as well, uh, part of Ravenscar. It's, it's his community, of course, and uh, he did this amazing contest, and if you want to see those parks, he's going to showcase them soon. Uh, but I saw the uh, submission by Nimi, and I really think that this is going to be an incredible park. It's going to be an incredible park, so I'm looking forward to see what she has made for the contest. I uh, released today the logos for that series. Uh, everyone got their own logo for the park. It, it didn't took that long, but... Oh, the Jaguar. Or, as we like to say, the Jag. The Jag. So we can. Can we find the Jag? Also, a lot of space. Beautiful. It's funny to see how people make parks. Some people just cramp things up. Uh, and leave a lot of space open because of the performance in the game, of course. And other people just fill in everything. 
there are people that use a lot of wide open spaces and fewer animals and there are people that do all the animals in smaller spaces I like to do both oh I think we have a zebra we heard a zebra so that's the jaguar area um can we go left again? We go continue left over here. Just leave on it. Adjust the time of the day a little bit more. There we go. So we have a little bit more light. I love this. Oh, the African buffalo. Water bubble. And the zebras, we heard one of them. Cool, cool. Look at this place. This is really something you would come across in parks. In the Netherlands, we have some parks who we'll show that as well. So we have giraffes here as well. Awesome, okay. I think they're on the other side, we're gonna just move up. Look at this, I, I really love this place. Beautiful. Um, so we have another place for uh, a resting area, so I think it's a great moment to take another sip of the water. Stay hydrated. I say that normally only to myself because I'm very bad at staying hydrated. <laughs> So, just quickly checking out here, what's it? Oh, this is again behind the scenes for the employees. I love that there are a lot of buildings that look nice like, like this. Look at this, beautiful. It's the same style as here, but... And sometimes I just see the, um, the blueprints which were part of the game, and I never realize it, it's part of the game or not, so... I always say, oh, beautiful, they did something great with it. Okay, just keeping the area over here. Let's go up. Let's go up. Can we see some animals over here? Oh, that's a zebra, I think. Oh, it's a baby. Oh, so many babies, I love it. We yeah, have other animals. Oh, oh, a little bit of, I, a little bit of lag after that message came in through the game. This, I always wonder how people come up with the idea of building specific areas. So let me know in the comments as well if you want to react on it. How? Oh, there they are. That's a lot of giraffe over there. And there's a giraffe sleeping in front of all the cars. Safari one. <laughs> of course they do. Uh, but let me know in the comments, like, how are you planning your park? Do you just really plan ahead? Or are you like me, just go with flow? I mean, Sokasu is like a progression. You can see that I'm starting with the first habitats ever. And then I improve myself. They really are ganging up on the <laughs> safari tour. <laughs> this, is, this is like you're really in a, a wild preserve. Giraffe buildings. Great. This is the safari, right? Hmm. There's also a baby zebra over there. That's a big area, guys. I don't think we're going to uh, take the tour as it's on a, on a halt at the moment. Oh, this one is like. Oh, wait, you're gonna. Are you guys trying to uh, mess with the guests, right? <laughs> Yeah, so what a buffalo. What's up, what a buffalo? 
Vakuso Blemtipan Krel Prakaji. Hala Ora Hengelium had Tima Lusotepa. I can keep myself quiet now. Good. That voice acting was bad. <laughs> uh, I'm just enjoying this, guys. Enjoying all this. Oh, there's a kimono. Oh, she. Okay, just just keep walking around like this. So she added a komodo dragon habitat next to this, in between of everything. Oh, I'm gonna check it out. Oh, very colorful. Not much of the water buffalo scene so far, but I know they're here. Let's just let's just run up here. Oh, this is going down again. Oh, okay. Um, uh, yeah, we have a yeah, um. Okay, so we're gonna check over here. Is this? That's Nile monitor. So we have Nile monitors and Komodo dragons over here. Let's check check it out. So this is like a war barren area, more desert area. So this is funny because when you start a park tour you adjust settings for touring and uh, oh, I thought I saw something but no. And uh, make sure things are fixed but sometimes animals are being boxed and you know stuff like that. Or a stock or Etc. Etc. Hmm. Hard to spot now. And uh, so yeah, I I only saw glimpses of some stuff. I saw the bears, the lions, mostly, and the entrance. This must be the Komodo dragon one then. Go and check out. It would be great when um, if people are going to uh, update their parks with the new billboards, you know, for for maps and stuff. I think that's one. There you are. Oh, those are babies. A lot of babies over here. You want to see a big one? There it is. That's a real dinosaur. Well, it's mainly a bird. It's like a real dinosaur, but you know what I mean. So okay, uh, we have another pathway that's going down there. But we're going to return a bit towards the corner. We keep sticking at the left side, keeping left. Yeah. Oh, this is towards the. Uh, oh, did it just float? I just float for a second. So this is the tour. Can we? We can't just pretend we are a car. They're all stuck. But let's pretend we are a car like this. Here we go, I think it's, this is the right way. There we go. So this is just a nice tour. See the zebras, the giraffe, water buffalo. Hello. Hello, little one. I will call you Stripey. So why are all the giraffe over here? Oh, this is a little bit weird. <laughs> they are all just standing here. There's so many of them. Okay, just, just just ignore that they are here. I don't think this is supposed to be uh, happening. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be. Mm. 
Oh, baby water buffalo over here. I don't see much male uh, or adult ones. Well, at least the zebra are moving around. Not a lot of zebras as well. I love large numbers of animals in these giant spaces. It's a great thing. There we go in a tunnel. And I think this is the end. Yeah, we're back. Alright. We get out and we move on. Are we now taking the... Let's just skip that. Ah. 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 No. Oh. Parkour. Parkour. <laughs> so I worked at... Uh, a marine animal park in the Netherlands for a couple of years. And, uh, so this is what we call a queuing. I'm not sure if it's the same in the English, but the queuing. And this is one of the tasks we had. Uh, a job to close it for the people. Oh, this is dead end. Is this a dead end? Yes, it is. Oh, so, okay. So we can continue on over there let's do that let's use our a lot of energy we have because we're a young adult male a young man running through the park because he's very longing his day out as one of the few people in this park <laughs> so okay um we have seen the safari the komodo and the nile monitor and uh, that's just the way to the jaguar again. And we have crocodiles here. Saltwater crocodiles. Oh, we can look over it. It's like a, a football over there. There's one. Oh, I've seen the crocodiles, by the way. I haven't seen the habitat, but there was one crocodile stuck in a box. So we, I couldn't get him out. <laughs> So, finally I was able to uh, shoot it down and bring it to the veterinarian. Well, at le with sleeping darts, guys, with sleeping darts. This is also the Komodo dragon. A little bit more view over here. Nice. Oh, it has a cave system as well. Nice, cool. Love it. Oh, that's... Is that a tree? Oh, that's the the, the 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 roots of a tree. So the tree's going downwards. That's that's smart. Oh, I'm keeping that one in mind. That's smart. Brilliant. So we are not one of those uh, areas for just park areas, you know. Very cool to see, it's like a mangrove, little mangrove. A lot of space for the crocodiles as well. Oh, they also have an inside area. I like this idea. So you can see them, but also not standing next to the window. I really can't get over how beautiful the area is. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. I'm getting out of your way. Sorry. Just trying to document this. So we have another area over there where people can walk. At least the, uh, the workers of the bar. Okay, so I'm gonna check this out quickly. This is still the crocodile area. And oh, I love this! Beautiful. I wonder if this is a plaza because we should stick to the left. But just, just we're gonna quickly. Maybe this is just this. Wow, this is great. Two llamas.
That's awesome. Yeah, that's awesome. I like that. Oh. Oh, this is like a, oh, this is a f food court as well. Brilliant. 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 I love this. Okay, this is going further in the park. Um, no, wait. This is also the uh, Jack, the Jaguar. And then we have the Ant Eaters over here. So we are a little bit back to. Uh, look, this is the elephant area. And. We've going, we've been going this way, so we're going around. Okay, let's just alter the time a little bit again. No. Here we go. I'm a time wizard, man. Well, I think Nimi loves soccer as well. Soccer balls. Also, because these look like soccer balls. Soccer. I don't like soccer. Well, that's not true. It's not that I don't like it. I never watch it. Hmm. The atmosphere in this park is amazing. Oh, it has like a ruin over there. So the ruins of the buildings over here is continuing into the habitat. <laughs> so I'm using that to find them. <laughs> there they are. They have babies as well. So cute. I love... Okay, so, funny story. Uh, so my best friend is going to... Maybe kill me if, if I tell this again. <laughs> it's not because of something she did, but... I was quite annoying ab about this situation. So, we have in Amsterdam, we have a park called Artis. Which is one of the older zoos in the, in the Netherlands. And uh, so last summer we've been there during the COVID period, or even before that, I'm not sure anymore. Already feels like two years ago. Did I just stumble the visible wall again? And um, so I love animals like sloth and ant eaters. Th those are some specific animals I really enjoy. So they have ant eaters over there, living with the llamas and, and the goats and stuff, and I want to see that one. And I also always want to see everything in the park. That's kind of like how I want to do things. We're going to walk this way, because this is the crocodile again. Yeah. And um, we were at the end of the day, and I haven't seen the ant eaters yet, because they were in the back and we were focusing on um, moving there but park was closing and the animals were inside and I haven't seen the ant eater and I've been annoying her for at least half a year <laughs> that I haven't seen the ant eater so when she was going to the zoo with uh, one of her uh, uh, I'm not sure if it was one of her friends or her boyfriend at the time um, I saw Jimmy go there. I just annoy her by saying just you had to take pictures for the about the end eaters and stuff. Oh, it's, it had a baby as well. What is the caiman? No, I don't think that's the caiman. They would kill each other. So yeah, that's kind of like uh, it's not that exciting to tell that, but it's just a story that always comes up in my head. Yeah, guys, I'm an old man. I'm, a, I'm an old dude with. All boring stories. <laughs> so we're getting back at this part again. Is this 
Just the layout of the game is brilliant. Oh, this is not where I'm supposed to be. Okay, never mind. Can we just skip it for a second? Can we just, just two people skip, can we skip it? We, we have VIP passes, right? We're gonna just skip it. Gonna skip. No one saw that, right? Hi, bye. <laughs> uh, so we can go this way, but we're going to take the long route. I also love the waterfall over here. Oh, I never noticed that it's an anteater inside of the bench. Okay, cool. So, I have no clue how long I am recording at the moment, but that's fine. That's fine. Okay, this is behind the scenes again. We're gonna take the sprinty route to whatever this is. Oh, sometimes you just miss something if you don't use a flashlight. Oh, llamas. So, I also love alpacas. I want to have alpacas in the game and without using mods. Llamas are fun as well, but alpacas are just special. Special llamas. It's a nice place. Beautiful with the glass barrier over here. Okay, we get the same area as well uh, if we are walking past it. So, so this is still end eaters, I think. Okay, so we have seen the two llamas, the saltwater croc, and the end eater. So this is the. Gonna use the lights over here. The llama. Okay, just the llama. I want to place for the llamas. Maybe a little bit low. Maybe a little bit. Also, guys, I will never uh, be like uh, crit criticizing things. That's something I never want to do. So, but sometimes you come across things you're like, oh, this is a little bit low or a little bit high. But, I mean, everything is so great. So this is the Jaguar area again. Okay, next we're gonna cheat a little bit where the Jaguars are. There's one. And the baby. Awesome. So this is going to go back. Oh, they have another Jaguar. Do we have more Jaguars then? Or is this all for the same... It's all for the same Jaguars. Wait, did the check watch just climb that? Well, it's now over there. So this is returning. Look at this. This is also this is th the thing I like walking through parks. I love these type of environments. There's a nice ruin over there. So a lot of open space so you can spot the animals, but still, I have a hard time spotting them if I'm not using the uh, well welfare cam. Another waterfall. Going a little bit farther. It's something like this. I like this. I love that. Beautiful tree in there. Okay, we're gonna skip a little bit. Or move further because otherwise it's gonna be a long, long day. So I guess this is going to be wolves. It's a nice touch with the four wolves over there, the pups and the the parents. So I think this is wolves. Yeah, we have here the grey wolf. There they are. So it's like kind of like a park and a an, uh, reserve for the animals, like they are living at their best without too much interference of guests. Nice, nice and beautiful rock formation over there. We have puppies, not puppies, cave or uh, 
shelter with an overhanging rock. Love it. Love it. Love the roof, by the way. That glass is so great. Good to use. So we are with the Capucin monkeys over there already. That's cool. So we have um, this is the polar bear again. We oh this is the bison. Oh we've done this part. Yeah okay we have done that part and we only haven't seen this. A little bit dark. That's the thing uh, I'm struggling with the most is the lights in certain areas, especially in buildings. And uh, other areas. Oh, look at. Oh, they're going to lie down over here. Look. Cute. I love the models. This game is so fun. I love it. So I think we've almost seen everything. Let, let us just run back. What do you what do you got? Uh, 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 sometimes I wanna say <laughs> I wanna ask you guys what do you think of the uh the way we're doing the showcase of a park? Uh, I mean we could just fly over and, and look into the details and stuff. We're gonna make some nice shots for the uh the park as well. And the end in between. So I think this is the end. Okay, let's just go here. We also have llamas. We have missed this part. So this is also for the llamas. Okay, cool. With a golden llama over there. There they are. So you can watch them from over here. And there is this place, this side. And then you have this view. The tree also completes it. Oh, I really love how this park turned out. Gorgeous. Well done. It's really well done. Oh, we have another. Is there another area where we can watch the llamas? Beautiful. So you have guests can go to certain points to watch the animals. I thought something weird was happening, but it's just a barrel rolling. <laughs> yeah, it's just great. Some stuff is just simple and the, the si all this these are the baskets. Oh, that's funny. So I want to say, like, sometimes these most simple designs are the best designs, in my uh, perspective. So yeah, guys, that's, I think we, uh, that's, that's all that we had to see. Uh, we haven't seen this part yet. There we go. Beautiful garden. I love this. Look at this. Look at this. It give it's so good to see other ones creations of, of other people and, and just take it in and you can use it later in your own parks, you know, like the tips and tricks you've seen in other parks. I like I never do this plants or or hanging upside down. But it looks so good. So it yeah. Oh, we never took a map from the information point, but... <laughs> so guys, this is uh, a wonderful zoo. We have seen everything, I think, so... It's time to leave the zoo today. So thank you, Nimi. Or Nimi-chan, for building this beautiful zoo. I really enjoy it. And um, it looks wonderful. I really, really enjoyed it. As 
as a first part for this series this is a great start this is a great start and uh, so yeah we've been running around a little bit just to showcase everything and I'm not sure what the time is <laughs> but I think we're almost at an hour uh, it, I have the feeling it's almost an hour but so guys thank you for uh, joining me at this day at the zoo and uh, this was the day at the woodland zoo so this is going to be the series and uh, I hope you guys want to join me for the next series or the next episode I mean and I already have some zoos picked out uh, of people I know but also I haven't seen these parks before I only saw them on the, uh, the workshop or flashing by on, on YouTube maybe but I haven't seen everything and I want to stick with doing this so I'm gonna showcase these parks and if I have done a park that you have come across before um, then keep in mind this is going to be a point of view version instead of a flyover and just every specific detail so uh, yeah we had a day at the zoo guys a day at the woodland zoo thank you Nimi and thank you all for watching this episode and I wish you all the best until next time bye bye